All right, let me do the, the testicles, this test real quick. Looks like we're uh, booing and bracking out here. Throw this on the IG story. Streaming on a Twitch. E. 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 I wonder, I wonder how other streams do this. Do all other streamers like just sit here and, and preamble for two minutes when I get the stream set up? Let me know if other streamers do the same stuff that I do every single stream because I'm unprofessional in my uh, approach. I have to link the stream here. Let me do it like this. By the way, we are sponsored by my uh, $40 um, Trailblazer, Damian Lillard, plush doll that uh, is now completely invalidated. Um, it's cool. It's cool to pay forty dollars for sh plush dolls that are now uh, antiquated. You know, it's always cool. Um, Damian Lillard, that a uh, nice guy, great, great person. But uh, you know, I would have preferred if he decided to let me know ahead of time before he went and got himself traded. Would have been cool, so I could have saved the 40 dollars. Anyway, um, I got the story posted, so we are now good to go. I gotta also test my mama back, so let me, let me do that. Let me do it. When is my mama's birthday? I mean, I know when it is, but like, I think you. I think if you forget your mom's birthday, you get to, like just banished to hell. So you know, I, I did not forget her birthday. I just forgot what day it like literally was. All right, there we go. I have done all my preamble. Only took two minutes of stream time for me to do a bunch of unnecessary shit that I probably should have done before. So if this is my, your first time seeing me stream Spider-Man, which is probably impossible because I've streamed this for second game every single time I have strum, um, I'm almost done with it. So that is a, it's a W. I try to do a camera thing, but I guess I wasn't able to. Um, I'm like 90%, I'm about to get shot by somebody, I feel like. Oh, it's somebody's watching me. All right, anyway. Um, so, yeah, 91%, 100%, and a lot of different little boroughs and whatever the fuck New York has. I, I don't, I've never been to New York. I guess they call them boroughs, but I thought the boroughs were, like, actual, like, islands. So maybe these are just, like, neighborhoods. The hood, the gentrified New York hood that I am working to defend. The fifteen dollars Starbucks lattes and the like. I should probably like be sitting by the fucking microphone instead of it being ten feet away from me. Let me get a little bit more intimate with this microphone. Get right up on it. As far as like real life shit that's happening in my life, which I'm sure nobody gives a fuck, but um, I got a fake interview, which I thought was cool. I don't like I ever seen a fake interview before, but basically, um, what happened was. Basically, what happened was um, this actually like real looking company. What? Oh my god, Spider-Man, you fucking idiot. Spider-Man, you fucking mongoloid. Ugh, anyway. Um, this individual emailed me uh, looking like they were having a real company. It was a real person that had a LinkedIn. They had multiple articles featuring their name, likeness, blah, 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 blah. Um, and 
so this person emails me like saying, hey, we have a job offer. Um, basically like a job offer before like, I even really like knew who the fuck, I don't even know if I applied to this place, by the way. I, I kind of applied to so many places I like lost count, but basically they um, hit me with basically a pre-job sheet, which looked, it looked like 85% legit. Like I wouldn't say it looked legit legit, because I'm not a boomer that like does never use the internet. But like the really the the content of it made sense. It was just that the the number well not the numbers but the English and some so I, I really say the numbers is a little bit much because like basically they were offering about forty dollars in an hourly wage, which for what was seemingly a salary position, uh, presenting an hourly wage. This is a little bit of game for you guys, but if you ever get a job offer, like email, where like they're sending you hourly wages, it's supposed to be like a full time joint. Uh, them mother efforts are like, I'm trying not to curse. Um, those dudes are flawed, all right? They're, they're unserious, to be quite honest with you. I don't think any decent place should be even presenting hourly wages unless it's a part-time job, which this was not. This was a 40-hour job, a 40-hour a week job. So it's just a little bit odd. Uh, and it was $40, which equates to roughly 78000 give or take, um, a year, which is a lot for, you know, you just see some random guy on the internet, you know, that may not apply to your spot. But, you know, I mean, it's probably within the range of a data analyst position. So, I mean, I wasn't sweating it too much. It was just that, like, they don't know me, so it's kind of, like, weird, you know. Or at least I didn't know them, you know. I, was just, <laughs> I, was not, I was not exactly entirely aware of the places to know if I even applied to them or not. Uh, but, you know, we kind of play the game as their own out there. So, you know, I was like, all right. They could be flawed. They could be fake. But let's go through it. So, another, like, big, um... I can't hear myself over this, this music. And basically, another big thing that was a little bit shocking, I would say, if I was going to the pine, is that, you know, I mean, like, the benefits all were cool, right? That's what kind of gets you in there, the very outlandish benefits and all that stuff. But what was shocking was just that, like, they had basically um, asked me to do an interview that was going to be, like, done over an app. And not like just any app, it was going to be done over a messaging app, which was like, what? You know, like, that's one of those things. Like, I was like, this is a little bit audacious, I feel like. So I was like, all right, you know, again, you know, a bag is a bag is a bag is a bag. So I was like, all right, let's get into it. Let's, um, you know, shake it off or to Taylor Swift, uh, Taylor Kelsey, my bad. So I was like, all right, fuck it, let's make it happen. So I downloaded this shitty app, which like looks like a kick clone. If you if you're too young for click, I'm a kick. You should actually use the internet, but it's a kick clone. So I was like, all right, kick clone, um, an encrypted kick clone. So basically, like they if they scam you for your information, uh, no one's finding them. It's like Telegram, basically. That's what basically an encrypted like messenger app does, where like they delete that shit, you're not finding them again, pretty much. So that was interesting. Um, but I was like, all right, again, just Game of Thrones. So I get into a spot where I'm like, all right, so I'm going to do this because I'm a fucking, uh, I hate my job. So like, let's just try a different job, you know? Let's try a different job and let's see if we can make this work. And, uh, yeah. Pretty soon to the interview. Well, actually, fuck the interview part. So basically... The premise is I have to add this person like like it actually is kick. I have to add a person like via their username and uh, you know hit them up like add them. And I was like, what? So the person adds me back like four hours later, like legit like an hour ago. It's currently um, what time is it right now? Let me see. I'm a uh, I'm uh, I'm a little bit fucked right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. Anyway. I, I really don't know if this game was meant to really have you fight these flying motherfuckers like this. I really don't know if it was. It's it's not exactly great in terms of tracking those dudes down, which is my problem with it. Like, it's engaging Eric 
combat, but it's not like exactly easy to reach those dudes, if that makes sense. I just, I have a couple critiques about this game. It's like, it's not perfect by any means, but I just don't like, if you can't like, I don't know, man, like, I just don't know if the air combat is the best I've ever played with, you know? I don't know if it's the best. It's okay. It's tolerable. Where did this dude come from? Like, I was looking for him for a Oh, he's... Is he bricked? I can't... Okay, he just wasn't completely webbed. That's another thing I don't like, is that, like, you really can't tell... Um... Sometimes if somebody's completely webbed or not. Which is, uh... This is realistic. Like, does that does that seem realistic to anybody? That like basically, he's webbed down. How the f I looked at looked at the fucking shot. I looked at the fucking shot while he shot it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. 2K, please. This is fucking ignorant, dude. I was busy talking about my fucking fake Monte Teo girlfriend ass interview. I just got beat by a fucking bot 101, dude. That is embarrassing shit. I don't even feel like going back to that side of mission, even if it pops back up. Anyway, like I was saying, man, I think it's absolute horse shit, that air to air mission shit in this game. Let's look at my fucking health. How the fuck could anything do. I'm level 50 in this fucking game, by the way. Somehow, I'm just like getting basically damn near one shotted by snipers at the end game of this. Like, what other game is that happening? Where, like, the damn fodder beats the shit out of you. On this level, like, I'm level 50. I have literally maxed out what the game gives you in terms of, like, your... I mean, you can't max out, per se, because you keep on going up as you, like, level up more, but, like, pretty much the base build of Spider-Man, I've leveled up. I've done my thing. And, um, somehow, even though that being the case... Uh, fodder is scoping me for my uh, damn near half my entire health. It's absolute bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is. I mean, you know, I'm not one to complain, but I'm one to come. I'm complaining, and I'm I'm think I'm doing the like basically the what would you call this? Like the. The penultimate, like, difficulty? I don't know if it's even that, because, like, I think you unlock a new difficulty if you play the new game plus. I guess it's the third highest difficulty. Come on, fam. I, I don't understand how the H... Like, sometimes if you dodge it correct, or what feels correctly... I don't know, I think there's different timings on dodging. I guess that's one thing to keep in mind. Is that, like, I don't know if all timings are equivalent. But anyway, um... So yeah, I'm doing like the, I guess, penultimate normal level, but if you count New Game Plus, it's the third level highest. And it's, it's been a challenge, like it's definitely one of those things where like I don't regret doing it, but like it's just another thing where I'm like, some of the, some of the damage doesn't make sense, you know? Like I just don't, I just don't know. I just don't know if it makes sense for an absolute bot to just do half my damn health on one scope. I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I appreciate that honestly. Let me see. Amazing, spectacular, friendly neighborhood. So yeah, basically, um, it's number. Like I said, number three. I would. I would honestly recommend this to anybody that's trying to get into it. That's not like a baby. If you, like, are a prepubescent baby, then I wouldn't recommend this to you, but, like, if you are of developed mind, which you probably should be if you're playing a video game, um, because, you know, of course, right, like, there's there's nobody that's, uh, <laughs> that's, like, a prepubescent little fucking kid that plays video games, of course, right, like, no, nobody else plays games, just grown people, the only people who play games. Anyway, um, prepubescent... Uh, fucking what else was I saying? God damn, man! Look at the fucking damage, man! Fuck me, dude. This is so fucking horse shit. <laughs> Get fucking murdered out here, dude. Wow. 
Bro, please. Let me breathe, dude. I will say, like, this this game is infinitely harder when you don't have audio. Like, there's some triggers that I think audio allows that I, uh, have not factored into my equation. But it's too late now for me to go back. Essentially, when I stream, I only, like, throw the audio on when it's, like, shit that matters happening. And, uh, we have not gotten anything that matters yet to me, so... I don't, I don't count basic bot fights on the ground as relevant content. I like how my man shot his own dude. That was pretty cool. I, was, I actually like the content more, you know, more or less. I mean, it's, it's kind of repetitive, but I mean, it's not like... You're not going to get, like, you know, Street Fighter 4 type fighting out of a... A Spider-Man game, you know. I think the the combat system is what you want to make out of it. Like, if you want to be a super duper technical like fighter, you can do that. You know, you can you can do it. You know, I gotta kind of test the old uh, mom's back, you know. Gotta, gotta test the mothers. The uh, progenitor of this professional. Oh my god. These niggas are living down bad. I feel like this is like normal New York, though. Like, if, if New York allowed you to kind of get down and dirty like this in the middle of Times Square, I feel like that'd be roughly how it looks like, give or take. Um, I think I need to go to the other side of this building. I think. I, I probably just made someone insanely sick, but wait, what the fuck? Is it just a building? I just need to take a picture of the building. Subject off center. Hello. I think I need to do the thing up top. There we go. Bro, how's a nigga always like on my head top, bro? Yo. Toby! Alright, there we go. Are you fucking kidding me? Toby! I, dude, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I know I'm bad at, like, playing video games, but, like... Should it be that hard for me to get up there? I don't think it should have been that hard. Are you fucking kidding me? I said I was gonna stop trying to curse. I'm failing so far, but... I'm gonna stop cursing right now. I'm never gonna curse again in my entire life. Yo, can you, Spider Man? I, f I effing hate your guts, bro. Perfect. I had to suicide be off the stage to get that that shot. I should put them niggas in. That's not a curse word. I should put them niggas in the dirt, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna just be a good old boy and get the hell out of here. I don't know if hell is a curse word either. It is in the Bible. King James Version. Speaking of the King James Version, if you never heard the song Jesus Peace by Ugly Man, Will Ugly Man, I recommend it. Jesus Peace. Jesus Peace. I'm not going to sing the entire song, but it's a, it's a pretty good song. I wish you could uh, hang off the helicopters. That's like, there's some missions that let you do that, like side quest or whatever. But that'd be cool. Like, just to, like, kind of fly off of those, you know? I think it'd be cool. Maybe I'm one on one. How how is that not off center? For all my photographers out there with your journalistic degrees that are worth two dollars and fifty five cents, um, I don't I don't know if that was what I would call on center. Me taking a shot at the back of that dude's nape, like an attack on Titan Titan, back of his nape. I don't know if that was who I would consider on center. How do we guys? How do we know these guys have disease? That is the question of the century so far. Actually, that is the question everybody has. I just get shot down sometimes. You know, it's just unfortunate. The proletariat that I am being uh, shot down by the 
burgeoning masses. My oh, man got stood up. Mm. I like how like the only reason he can't pick them up is just because like they're fucking fat. That's like he can pick up anything in the world the damn near it seems like I've seen this man in this very game in this cannon in this very cannon this mother effer has like lifted up trains essentially like I don't know if y'all ever seen a train before but they are uh, much smaller than that guy Like he literally has done the whole, like, you know, the Peter Parker uh, in Spider-Man 2, the movie. He's done that whole train thing. Like, he did that. But he can't lift up a dude that's, like, probably a thousand pounds, maybe? I mean, I... He probably is about a thousand pounds, even though that sounds unrealistic. I don't know why you have thousand pound people that don't just drop dead of, like, coronary artery disease, but that's how this game works, I guess. Or this universe, rather. Look at, uh, look, look at fucking Wilson Fisk. Let's go over to him. Dude was 450 pounds at 6'7". I think it's the big show. Well, it's the big show. It's the big bad show tonight. Well, we got my man here. We got, uh, K. Reno. He's eight inches taller, but 300 pounds more. I assume that's what the suit factored in, but you never know, man. I don't know if it's a product of childhood obesity or what, but to be seven foot five and that many pounds, I just literally, I literally just came from here, by the way. Literally just came from here. Literally just came from here. He ain't. This woman is like jail pose over there. You see her? Literally jail posing. What? I, I don't love the auto targeting, but I mean, like, it's efficient. Just auto target. Just kind of hope you kind of hit the right guy. Time-wise, but well, not a huge fan of auto targeting here. I'll be honest with you. Those weren't even. That's that's the one tough thing you got to kind of keep in mind is that like you do these missions and like you'll be doing the missions fighting people, and you may not be fighting the people that are necessarily in the actual mission. Like, you might just be find somebody that is just hating on you and just wanted to pull up and kind of fuck with you a little bit, you know? Which I'm not a fan of, you know? I want to fight certain people and only certain people when I do my missions. I don't want to fight the whole neighborhood. Yo, I mean, like, you see your whole homeboys just get wrecked by Spider-Man. And you're like, nah, I'm going to keep on fighting them. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to do it better than they did, you know? That's a bit, a little bit delusional. Anyway, I guess they might actually have been part of the mission. I guess, I don't know. Are you part of the mission? I guess you were. Okay. So everybody there was part of the mission. Okay. I was full of crap. Let me throw on some uh, TJS sits. NBA Street of Volume 2 TJS sits. If you're following at home. I think it's just NBA Street. No, it is NBA Street Volume 2. Okay.
I don't think I ever concluded what happened with that uh, job interview. So basically, um, now I'm a most more sober and collected mind. Basically, what happened at the end of that is that I was sitting there in the text app thingy, basically the little kick plus telegram. And after the interview, the woman finally added me. She messaged me back. And you could tell, like, she had just copied some questions. Like, the questions they were asking me to kind of, like, see if I knew anything about data analysis, which I obviously did not. Um, <laughs> I just Googled everything myself. Is that they were all copied, and they were all pretty much like, what the fuck is still, like, looking at me? There's something that's, like, scoped on me for, like, a legit, like, a whole mile there. Anyway... It got to a point where I was like sitting here like like every question was just Google because they were like pasting them immediately. Well, not maybe not Google, but they were definitely like copied and pasted. And every single one was just being, you know, trying to throw me from some, you know, document. And uh, they, didn't, they didn't ask for anything that was personally identifiable, which is a little bit different than what I've seen on Reddit, because this, apparently, like, this stuff has happened to a lot of people on Reddit. Um, but typically what happens is that they, they are being asked, like, you know, kind of, mm, how should we say, uh, stuff that would be basically fuck your life over if it kind of got out type stuff, you know? Like, Someone was getting their SSN asked for. Some people were getting their like banking information, routing information. Um, some people were getting their like personal like housing addresses, shit like that. Like just identif uh, information that matters. Like I basically didn't have anything asked for than like my phone number, and my email. So I gave like my most dispensable email just in case like it was like semi real. I just gave like a fake phone number because I was like, I'm not going to do that. I got enough spam on my normal phone as it is. So I was like, I'm not going to do all that horse shit. But, um, you know, if they do email me with a, like a... What, what, one thing also is that they apparently will like send you... Because at least with the, the pre... Uh, job letter they sent me with that letter it actually like says they're going to send you some stuff like some supplies that you so you can do your job right uh, basically like a, a MacBook a printer which is interesting to me uh, a printer which I guess if you didn't have a printer you get a printer hey, I don't have a printer by the way I, I don't have a printer and they were trying to like kind of rock out with that but they said the company's going to supply all that stuff, so I was like, okay. That's a little bit different than what's on Reddit, where Reddit says, if you get that situation to happen, they're going to ask you to foot it yourself, and they'll just reimburse you with a check. So, that is obviously a lot different of a situation. And uh, needless to say, if I had to, they they were asking or they were wanting to provide, quote unquote, a 2021, I think, MacBook Pro, like the M2, I guess 2022, the M2, whatever, which probably cost roughly $1,200, $1,300 brand new. I, I don't think I was going to be footing that bill myself. I don't think I could foot that bill myself. I mean, I... I just don't know if I had 1400 to just hope that MF were sent back to me. I think the value of the scam, if it is a scam, which I, you know, if a scam looks like a scam, it's a scam type of thing. But I think the value of it is they pretty much get your information. I don't think it's necessarily a money thing. Like, the most they would do is send you a bounce check, which I don't know if there's any value for them in, you know, your account, your bank account failing. But they do want to obviously scam you in the, the you know, banking information, SSN, stuff like that. So, you know, I did not give them any personal, identif personal identifiable information, which you never should do that before you begin a job. <laughs> I mean, if you're like doing a replication, then that's one thing, which 
I don't know. That would honestly probably just be a better way for them to scam somebody just for them like say, hey, we're interested in you fill out a um, a job uh, application. And you can just get your SSN that way, you know? That would probably be an even better way because it would feel more legit. I don't think it's probably something to be said for... I just don't understand why every job application needs your SSN. Or not everyone, but like, some job applications ask for your SSN like out the gate. I think that's a little bit bullshit, you know? I don't know. I've, I've definitely had some ask me that, which probably... Maybe I should have been asking myself about those, but... You know? It's too late now. I'm not sure if the, like, the lifty-uppy thingy... I don't know what to call it, but... The one that, like, lifts up... You know, I'm not sure if that one has any use. <laughs> Like, I think it does kind of stymie groups, which maybe that inherently brings some neat value. But, like, it's not, like, very offensive. Which, you know, I, if it's me, you know, I love me some offensive content, you know? So, that's what I need in my life is an offensive weapon. And it's not that. It's just, it's just not... Incoming. That's what she said. Bro, give give me the fucking thing. Oh my goodness. I tried to grab it for eight hours, dude. Who who wants smoke, man? Who want, who wants smoke? I have done some hated shit to you right here, and you just keep on getting back up. I don't know why. I don't care how much armor you have. If someone threw you at full strength into a fucking building, you're gonna fucking die. Like, it's not, just, it's not gonna be pleasant for you, bro. And yet, they eat that shit. All right, let me switch to earbud mode so I can listen to this rhino mission. Anyway, there's some more details to the story about me getting a kind of sort of scammed out of a job interview but we'll let it rock you know yank 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 at this point you think i would just like have a pair of earbuds pair of earbuds ready to go boo i don't have any earbuds ready to go on the you know i just don't keep my earbud around I wish my microphone was wireless so, or Bluetooth incompatible so I could just throw some ear bullet onto them bullet, but uh, unfortunately it was not at all boho compatible. I'm gonna look up Bluetooth compatible uh, microphones. You got know, like that, oh, that that ASMR, that that type racer <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> you can use Bluetooth headphones with the Yeti Mac in front of but you have to make sure that in your system dish settings, the input device is set to the Yeti and the output device to your headphones. So basically, I could, you know, I guess run off on you dudes if I wanted to. Like I can just get the audio all to me. And uh, basically fuck you guys the other way and not let you guys get any audio. But, you know, I wouldn't want to do that, you know. I'd hate to to take that experience away from you dudes. Also, I don't think the PS5 allows you to use, like, normal Bluetooth headphones like AirPods. So, there also is that. I got it kept on coming even though I fucking... I just, you know, I just, I just sat there and... 
See, that's the that's the difference right there. You can have that darn audio in your eardrums. I don't even need to look. I can hear. That's what Helen Keller said before she cured deaf. Just deaf. She cured deaf. Speaking of deaf, have you ever heard the uh, Oppenheimer versus Thanos rap battle? It just, I don't know, I, mean, I, I, I used to love those, those, I still love those rap battles, uh, history. I thought they're pretty, uh, yeah, it depends on how much of a nerd you are, you know? Like, I think if you're really geeky, you know, something like Michael Jackson's Elvis Presley, it's just entertaining content, you know? Michael Jackson. Ooh, Elvis Presley, as I live and breathe. <laughs> you stole rock and roll, give us rock and belly cheese. <laughs> Polk. There is no one on my side. <laughs> what about Hulk? Well, They're all they consider. I think their boss battles are like pretty decently designed. I mean, you know, I've seen worse. I've seen footage. I've seen footage. I've seen. That is the song uh, "I Seen Footage" by Death Grips. If you've never heard Death Grips. If you've ever heard a death to groups that song's a good one to get started with this one's one where like i'm not even sure if he can like hurt me like i can just like fuck around if i want to all day i would just see how they do the venom uh boss battle that'll be fun nothing wrong with a good venom or nothing bad you know when you're doing a good venom boss fight Nerf this. What were you gonna do if I didn't so beg him to give up? Like an ordinary couple, you two. I'm gonna focus on Scorpion. I'm gonna let Rhino cook real quick. Is he that fast? I think it's a little bit unrealistic. Oh my god, dude. He whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's a little bit of a good bit of damage, bro. Alright, well. <laughs> that was worth it. That was fucking worth it. <laughs> Yo, that was perfect timing, bro. That was, yeah, that was worth it. Well, I missed. Why does he move like that? That is not a human way of moving, bro. I don't understand why I just can't hit him. You know. doing my thing there. This thing could put a perk in that damn thing. I think it's unfair, you yeah. know?
Okay, can we move off of that, Peter Parker? What? Oh my god, my fucking reaction time! Here's a gamble. Oof. Yeah, it wasn't a good gamble. This is an interesting fight. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Damn, he cooked Gargan, bro. Yo, he ate that nigga's alive, bro. Pause. Dude has an arm like Prime Aaron Rodgers. Yo, that nigga is laid out, bro. <laughs> My time tonight is so damn bad, bro. Come here, Pouch. I will teach you to throw a real punch. My jaw's already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. Why is Miles Morales not helping me right now? Miles, please. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak. Let them kill each other, bro. I'm cool with it. Oh yeah, let's go. I want, I want both of them gone. I want both of them out of this existence, bro. I'm throwing Martin Lee into a damn vaporizer. The sick ass. It's... Dollars. <laughs> That's some COVID ass shit right there. Devil's breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Hey, I went through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of tables, men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. Oh fuck! Oh my god! Another Mary Jane level! Yay! Oh my god! Yay! Mary Jane levels! Oh my god! Okay, it's risky. We need that location. Oh my goodness! Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I I try to do the the B and Y S uh, producer tag. I'm working on dying. <laughs> Tremendous dude for his theories, you know. Like he, he somehow has gotten wilder, you know, Deontay, over the course of a thirty-hour game. He hasn't ran out of content yet. I mean, that's commendable to me. They have a Spanish Harlem. What? I have like a real like police car 
hovering somewhere outside. And it, with it being this game, it's throwing me off. Like, it's like too disorienting right now. I hope whoever it is, they're okay. It's just weird. Like, it's like, I'm like trying to, I was trying to figure for a good minute, like, where that was coming from. I was like, it's, it's not that immersive, you know? I don't got the bow sound bar going on here or nothing, you know? You can probably hear us, I'm sure, in the stream. Probably. More than likely. This nigga is getting fried, remember? I mean, if you can't hear that, my audio isn't good enough. That shit is right outside my brib, dude. I think they're gone. I think. I say that, and then, like, the last thing I see is just a... <laughs> my door getting kicked in. What the fuck is that? It's like, we're here for you, sucker. <laughs> I'm working on the... <laughs> That's really like I think a top five producer tag, or at least top ten I would say. If I had to like kind of sketch out my top, I don't know, man. The um, stop flexing your um, muscles, Jordan. Um, who the hell is Carlo? DJ Smokey. I mean, his endless producer tags are pretty good. Um, damn, I'm trying to figure out. There's a lot of good ones. I, I, I actually sketched this out, like, last year. But I don't remember all the ones I picked. I really like, um, Who the Hell is Carlo? And, uh, Stop Flesh Your Muscles, Jordan. It's a couple pretty good ones. There's a lot, a lot of good producer tags out there. You just gotta, like, dig around. There's enough beats, basically. JPEG Mafia has some pretty good ones. I don't know if I just want to say like it's particularly like elite. And let me see. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. It's hard to think about producers and kick some ass. Pretty decent tag, I think. It's one I have not heard by anybody else. It's basically, uh, you know, not to give away company secrets, but uh, it's, a, it's a Trump tag. It's one of Trump's better quotes, I think, which is hard because I mean Trump. Trump has like legit, like I think endless quotes, man. I really, I really think so. That, that that's what should happen. If someone throws a mailbox at you and you hit another mailbox. That should kill you. Like, your entire, like, spinal should be fucking broken. Um, I can't think I even produce off the top of my head that, like, I really, like, want to rate like the Rate, R-A-T-E. Rate. I'm working on Don. But, yeah, I think, uh, I think, uh, the B and Y S. I, I think that would be within, like, top ten tags. Somewhere in there. Maybe. I don't know. It's not like impressive, but it's just like... It just works, I guess. I don't know. It just works. Alright. Let's get it.
We need one in. More guys? Out of luck. Silver Sable must be at a lot of job fairs. What's this plan here? You're gonna punch me? I don't think it's gonna happen, brother. Yeah. Yeah, this is unfortunate, I hate to see it. Lethal force authorized. All right, let's tap in. A couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. From what I can tell, with Spider-Man Two, I think they're supposed to be replacing uh, these MJ missions, like these stealthy missions, with like a. Uh, a spider bot. I like that a lot more. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of any of these Mary Jane missions, to be honest with you. I'm, just kind of a, I'm a meathead of those actions, you know, that's, that's why. I can't deal with any kind of ooh, stealth content, you know? It's not my thing. I've seen Osborne survive worse. <laughs> An epidemic, you know? That he calls, you know, I've seen him survive worse. I don't know if you have, I've seen him survive worse, honestly. Wait. That guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can wild them up to create a distraction. That sounds like some uh, Jim Jones type shit. I only got 11 points out of Jared Goff. That is, you hate to see that. The guy I'm going against only got one point at the starting tight end, though. I'm about to start sound, uh, starting CJ Stroud over my man Jared Goff, dude. CJ Stroud's my backup quarterback. I feel like pretty solid, all things considered. It's not the worst of playing like a fucking dead league where like you just can't get talent because. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> they can tell me to kick, uh, kick fucking rocks. It just sucks you could like, you can't get what you need, you know? Like you got fucking 10 dead teams in a 20 team league. Just horse shit, you know? Dude, this is literally how I like, fucking COVID like got going. For, it's wild. Like this was two years before COVID, and like the fucking like dynamics are exactly the same. It feels like, especially like COVID when it was in China, like twenty late twenty nineteen, just like literally ghosts in the streets because of how insane it was. It's like complete like binary to the, a parallel, I should say. This look is living good, bro. Some of these people should not be living in a penthouse of this magnitude, I want to say. Like, some of them just don't think they got it like that. Just look at some of these people, man. You think all of them got it like that? I don't think they do. You know, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but I'm judging a book by the entire cover, spine, the table of contents, everything, dog. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to Stable or Sable International. I'd tell Sable go suck my nut. That's what I would do. As in like my testicle. Not my not my not the thing that comes out of the testicle. 
<laughs> Either way, man, and get the point across, man. Fuck you guys, dude. I guess it's supposed to like, since everybody clipped together, now I set them off over here, maybe? Uh, hello? Okay, there we go. Yo, I'm clicking triangle, bro. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might Yeah, this one is a cat, bro. Come on, let's go talk to security. That boy's a liar, part three. Very doing. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know. This is an hour ago. You think they just didn't hear because she crashed down? Is that what happened? Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I don't think they have like an actual gun. <laughs> so make, make like a do or die decision. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot a Sable agent. I'm going to just put one of the fucking backs. I'd like to see the, the kind of the the, um, the mental faculties. Mary Jane goes for it. I like this thing. So that can do that, but when Spider Man like has an electric web, they just kind of shrug that shit off, I guess. Mary Jane clear, Spider Man confirmed. If I just throw it at him, what about Get bent. Oh, I'm guessing I'm just gonna pull up with the, the dick. And I'm gonna pull up with the dick. I pull up with the dick. Yo. I did it. Moment's clearing up. And the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. She walking out, she just fucking crushed this shit. Watch how like an agent just like captures her by hey bitch, what the fuck you come from? I open these doors, I just get fucking nabbed off the streets. Like, where the fuck did you come from, motherfucker? Ain't nobody got nothing to say with her. She's unlocked like the damn door that was supposed to be locked. Silver Sable. This nigga normal walking out here like this nigga shit those things, bro. Yo, that's cold. <laughs> why would you? Why would you halfway investigate that? <laughs> Like your sit sense like detected that the girl was there and be like, nah, I'm just gonna like let her rock. <laughs> what kind of reaction is that, bro? That's supposed to be like super spy silver stable. She was like, nah, I'm good, man. I'll, I'll let it chill. <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna have to fight silver sable by the end of this. Dude, her Mongekio Sharnagon, bro, is just impressive. It seems how she's a normal fucking person. <laughs> they should not have the ability to do this shit. It's just impressive. She has, like, the same level of prowess. Yo, know, ignore the fuckers upstairs, dude. I'm sorry, but, like, if this has been a disaster in terms of my nearby surroundings... I, I live in the fucking shittiest apartment complex you probably can live in, bro. Honestly. Like, it, it's some real... Mm. Dastardly shit. What about the last day on this, on this planet? James Franklin went out crazy, you know? That might be what I was referring to. Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Should be. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? 
a bad uh, designers. I don't know. I didn't have a joke prepared for that. Is this Green Goblin? Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Peacekeeping helmet. Oh, it's a peacekeeper. Shout out to John Cena. It's a peacekeeper. Can I just take it with me? Listen, man, these noises, man, I can't help it, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's part of the uh, surroundings. Let's just say that. The surroundings nobody wants to hear. Is that weird? To be undermined by Spider Man in every like obstacle. I don't know if that's weird at all, honestly. I'm glad they rendered that random room. It's pretty cool. Uh, let me th think here. Is it the family portrait? But like, where the f is the family portrait? There's only like four things I can see with my. Uh, this is like a three to Mo shiny guys. Not a Mon Gekio. If that makes sense. What the fuck is a goddamn family portrait? If I was a family portrait, where the hell would I be? At? I don't know if there's any rooms I can enter. I don't think there are. I don't know. I'm taking my sweet ass time though. I do know that. It's four normals. There's gotta be some like room I can enter that I'm just like gallivanting over. It's a green goblin mask. It's a green. Goblin. The Green Goblin mask. Anyway, uh, I know I'm just skipping over something massive, but like, I I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It's the combat prototype from the schematic. What? The schematic for the prototype mask. Norman seems to be pushing Oscorp towards defense work. Oh fuck! There it is. It didn't show up. Why didn't they show up on my, uh, Mangekio? Um... I thought it would do something when I walked by there, honestly. Yeah, you gotta excuse those cunts upstairs, bro. You gotta excuse them, dude. I can't help it, man. Are you gonna give me a hint here or what, bro? Usually these niggas will bail me out, but they're not doing nothing. I need me as a, a, a receiver to catch the ball here, because I'm just throwing this shit to nobody, bro. I looked at the Spider Man shit. I looked at the freaking paper of the days before they do the leaves. I get, let, me, let me look at it again. Maybe if I look at it again, you know. Nope. <laughs> okay, my bad. My bad. Um, I'm at a loss of words right now, bro. This is not good content. I understand, but I'm, I'm really at a loss. I'm not. I'm not fabricating. I'm not f fabricating. I'm not doing any of that. I just really don't know what the fuck to do. I understand that there's. A lot of this behind this damn painting, but I don't know what the hell supposed to do with it. What if I throw some at it? Can I shoot it? No. Um. All right. I'm about to look at this up in just a second here. I literally walked, I think, around every inch of this fucking apartment by now, bro. I'm like scaping the outside of the fucking thing at this point, dude. Look at it. Look, look, look. Where have I not gone? You gotta see this shit. Where have I not gone yet? I've now clicked everything twice. So you can't say I didn't do that. I think it's time for me to look this shit up on the old boob tube. I think it's time. 
I don't think I've looked up anything to this point. Why is there still showing up? What do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, fucking hell. Well, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Fuck me, dude. I, f I just feel like a fucking invalid, bro. I'm actually in blitz status right now, bro. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left the secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. They might just be richer than hell. All right, Jack. Can I just? Oh. I guess I put the code in. I feel like if you get that wrong, she's gonna like just blow up the whole spot. What if he has like, the COVID cure in there? There's like trash laying around. Yes. Some gnarly fucking business out here, bro. I know that. Nasty, nasty business. I man is probably worth a cool billy, and you can't figure out how to get that uh, figured out. Norman has ever even touched the stove. Forgot about this. The Osborns have a coat of arms and a motto: Pax and Bellow. Peace in war. Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all. You know how fucking rich you have to be to have a coat of arms? Like, that's what shit I used to have for poor families back in, like, the damn 200s. But after that, but you gotta be like some Illuminati shit to have a coat of arms. That's not something everybody has. A shot. Big trip. A COVID trip? <laughs> hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. Uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. Oh. What a beautiful relationship. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. The photo was removed though. I wonder what was there. Uh, James Franco doing the uh, look back at Tobey Maguire meme from Spider-Man 3. One of the all-time great videos by the way. I don't think anything like encapsulates James Franco like that video does. Just fucking, just James looking back like a complete smug asshole. After getting one up on somebody. The penultimate, or the ultimate uh, James Franco video. Reminded of the damn wars and blood that was strewn by the enterprise that is Osborne. I'd probably feel pretty uh, guilty as well. This thing is going like Jordan Belfort, bro. Like, I mean, come on, bro. Trying to get a nigga out the paint completely, get his place shut down. I don't usually do it. Harry's mom, Emily. 
Yeah. Nigga, this is Amelia Clark? That's crazy, bro. This nigga got Amelia Clark as a mom, bro. This must be the key for Harry's room. Score. Look at Mary Jane, dude. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Shit, it's bigger than mine, too. I'll take a look. I guess the like torment that New York people have like endured to such a point. They're like, oh my god, you can't be enjoying life. You got to fucking deal with pestilence and shitty greasy pizza. <laughs> living in New York sounds like fucking hell, dude. By the way, I just want to say that. Unless you're like living it up. Those don't even look like the Peter Parker, like in this game. Like, that was a completely different bit of Parker than the one that you played with in this fucking game. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, dude. Like, this Peter Parker just shifts game to game to game. It's really funny stuff. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? This nigga been fighting the disease himself. Bro's on that homeopathic tip. Or to Steve Jobs. Ah, that loud noise. My man can see the damn Raph. Raph Tyler. <laughs> Raph Tyler. Oh, is this really for Harry? Damn. Broken down bad. I might not make it that happens a bunch of green is dead. Who am I kidding you? Probably read it anyway. Norman always has to know. Uh, it doesn't be another Osborne company, promise. Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. I'm sick, really sick. Neuro he spelled neuro wrong. I think N U E. I feel like that's N E U. But anyway. Uh, rapid onset. Yo, it's got really bad recent those times I was wiped out from partying, super busy, not partying, not busy, so... Devil's breath, Oh, Bad, bad business. Silver Sable came back? I'm gonna fucking kill Silver Sable. Let's get it. I'm gonna kill Silver Sable to the great beyond. You will be completely vulnerable. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. I'm about to, I'm about to hit Silver Sable to scope. I'm about to be one on one. Yo, I will give you. A, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd probably buy a DLC right now if you gave me Silver Sable. Um, wearing a fucking a bathing suit. I'd at least buy a DLC for that. I mean, that's you gotta just commend the uh, the guys for that one. Oof. Oh, you hate to see that one. You hate to see that. <laughs> if I don't get this right, I'm fucked, probably. The plot thickens. Uh, all right, whatever. Keep on walking. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. God damn it. Shit, shit, shit. Hail Mary. Okay. A little bit less of Hail Mary. Okay, maybe a little bit less of Hail Mary. Unfortunate. I didn't see the buddy to the right there. Just bad timing. I don't think I can kill him or, or tase him. I don't think I can do it. This. I'm mean, to kind of defeat the purpose of trying to like do this stealthily. He see me? Probably not. Wait, <laughs> yo, Mary Jane, dude. Really funny person, dude. Hey, can you stick that in there? That's not the way I want him to face, but I'll take it. Okay. Walk back over there. There we go. It's gonna open a door or something, wouldn't it? I guess no one's gonna see that door open. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the devil's breath lab. Something in this. This is like the damn green goblin bombs, bro. <laughs> it's uh Is that an Easter egg for little old me? Because I wanna know why the hell he has green goblin bombs. To say the very least. I guess it was like test dummies, I guess. Like test in insects, maybe. Definitely failed, so either way, I mean. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's spiders? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. Oh, Miles Morales? What is he trying to create? Miles Morales? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. It's <laughs> a flapjack love. How the fuck did I get my ass out of here, bro? That's gotta be these bombs, right? Like, I, I can't think of what else this would be. It won't let me click it, though. It's gotta be, there's gotta be some reason I would able to let me look at this, but, like, I... I can't click it, so, I mean, I don't... Click it or tick it, I guess, I don't know. I have a very small rectangle... It, fuck! All right. I hate when it's this fucking hard to just like find something. Like I just wanted, to, I wanted to be there, you know. I do all this bullshit stealth missions and shit. Like I just, just let me grab it, bro. I just want, I want to taste. That's why I, I just want to taste. I don't even want the whole load. I just want to taste.
Typically, they put the fucking uh, recorder in the middle of the damn table. That's usually all you get is the recorders. I'm at a loss of freaking words, bro. I really am. I'm a... Not a pro gamer, I guess. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, unless this, unless I'm geeking, I mean, Commercial buildings. the light blue stuff I thought would be like more wow. amendable. She's so quippy, dude. She really is. Her, her and Peter are just a perfect fucking couple. All right, enough quips out of you. Tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Kind of makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michael's. So you're trying to find the overlap, basically, I guess. Probably this, I would guess. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Temple Cathedral. Isn't that... Usually take from civil uh, civil liberties here. 